We're dancing to the song. It can't be stopped. It can't be stopped. I'm stopping it. Okay. <laughs> We're stopped. What's up? How y'all doing? Hello. We're all vibing out here. That's yeah. a good song. Uh, I do play it a lot. Yeah, like it. that's because it's a banger. Yeah, it's a good I think song. it's a certified banger since when Hotline Miami came out. 2014? 2013? Something like that, probably. Sounds Circa right. six or seven years. Banger, certified banger the whole time. So it's always been a banger. Uh, good evening, everyone. We got stuff. We're, we're key forward. We got a lot of Sanctum decks. So Justin was saying that these games will probably be slower than the ones them from last night. But I said, what if one Sanctum deck just pushes all the other Sanctum decks off the table and just wins the game? Um, I don't know. We'll have to see how it plays out. Um, uh, I wish we had kind of kept data for all of the matchups that we've had. I'm sure some. I mean, like, it's there. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure <laughs> somebody like Herp or whatever would would, uh, would yeah. collect that. But um, uh, yeah, I think this is like a this is like a good example of. Or I think this set it's like there's like a checklist of things that when it occurs, the deck wins. Right. Yeah. It like keeps the opponent's boards clear. Yeah. It's generating amber consistently. It stops the keys. Not constantly, but just at the right time of the game. Or taxes um, at the right time. Taxes at the right time, yeah. I think it's that kind of stuff. Um, whereas, you know, in other sets, it was like execute a combo. There's not, I mean, there's like combos in this set, but they're not like Martian Generosity combos. They're yeah. not like Ganger not combos. So. <laughs> That's what we're saying. Worm. Art Artemis, Eternal Hot and Cold. The Crook of Valhalla. Good bets up. With betting inclined. Three wild spirits. Two bonithings. Two. No safe house. This does have safe house, but no bonithing. Does have a rad penny. Um. And a subtle auto, which could be annoying in the right. Oh, this is one of the Pincer Raider decks. Mm. Pincer Raider, Pincer Raider represented, they right? Did. Like Pincer Raider did a lot of work in our in our play tests or in our in our tournament so far. So, um, I mean, the fact that Pincer Raiders made a deep run in this turn tournament kind of shows you, I think, the power of that card. I think it's just well suited with Shadows in the set because like. You're bouncing your rad pennies all the time. You don't care, um, especially when you combine it with logos. So you got like Qmex as well. Uh, there's probably some busted Pensarator decks out there that um, that are logo shadows and just a bunch of when destroyed effects. I could see yeah. a disc one too if you had the uh, the demons that are destroyed and steal one also. Pensarator with mushroom. I could see that. Pincerator Key Frog. We need some double Pincerator decks. God. Well, we've definitely had matchups match with two out, right? So I don't know if I wonder if you can get two in a deck. Uh, I wonder if it's a, I wonder if that's one of those limit cards. Yeah, I don't know. It might not be, but Pincerator with Brabble. Yeah, Prince I think we have actually seen Brabble be uh relevant. He's trouble with Pincerator out, yeah. With the in the Pincerator matchups, so. Brabble's just a good card. Yeah. I mean. So you're first. Uh, I'll keep. Hey, Victor. Uh, I'm gonna say shadows. I'll play a Gamgee. Go ahead. There's one deck with three Pincer Raiders. Okay. I will play a Techno Thief. And I'll play Perplexing Sophistry. Draw a card. And then draw a card. Great job. Hello, yo yo. Oh me. Ooh, okay, your turn. This has two deck, right? No, no, this deck with two. Okay, I am going to say shadows then. I'm gonna reap with Gamry and steal one. Welcome to the stream, Wethel. Glad you could make it. Play shoulder it. Unfortunately our time Finally is changing. Stream. Yeah. Our time is changing back on Sunday, so Yeah. <laughs> Sad to say. I'll draw two, go ahead. I will say 
untamed, I will play Reclaim by Nature. I will play Dark Fairy. I'll put two Wild Spirits on this Techno Deep. And your turn. I am going to say Sanctum. I'm going to free markets for two, Shadows and Untamed. I will play this Radiant Truth. I am going to Gorm of Ob and do a damage to the, the Techno Thief, I suppose. Uh, and then I'll play an Ardent Hero. I also get to capture one for this Gorm, so capture one. Shoulder it. All right, it's your turn. I will draw four. I'll say... Logos. I'll play a Mobius scroll, play a Zens, play Munchling, get an Amber and draw. Play Cumex, draw. Your turn. Draw a bunch. Four. Um I guess I'll say Shadows. I'll play Safe House. I'm gonna reap with Gamgee. I can't do anything about this. This is that's a Zenzik, which isn't great. Uh, I'll play a subtle auto and pitch a card from your hand. I'll play a Miasma Bomb. I'll go ahead and just Gorm that Mobius Scroll. Makes sense in letting you just do whatever you want with the Logos hand. Yeah. And I will reap with the shoulder id. And your turn. I'll draw three. Uh, I'll say logos. Lucky Max draw. Keep with Qmax. Um. By standardized testing, I get sixes and ones. I'll play a Cronus. I will keep with Munchling. I fight the Ardent Hero. Seems fine. And your turn. All right, so I will forge. Safe place is only a one Eric card. Interesting. Mm. Yeah, uh, I think, well, it, do, it does depend on what's in the deck, right? I think there are shadow sides that would not want safe house. But Bo knifing safe house is bonkers. Um, I think there's some combos in... This it's like a furnace. I mean, furnace. There's a lot of stuff. Several several play effects. I rarely think, is in other houses that you would want. Rarely is it blank, right? Yeah. All right. I am going to say shadows. I'm going to reap with Gamgee, steal one. I am going to play Rad Penny and steal one. I am going to play Old Bruno and capture three. Oh my God. I am going to safe house Rad Penny. And it is your turn. I will draw. Uh, I'll play Shadows. I will look over there, old Bruno. I will play Bonithing. Steal one. Play Francis. Play Francis. Play Nexus. I will reap with Techno Thief. Discard a card, draw a card. And uh, capture two. And your turn. Okay, I will say Shadows. I'll put my archives in my hand. I am going to play Pensorator. I am going to reap with Gamgee and steal one. I will play Rad Penny and steal one. I am going to tempting offer the thief. I will 
safe house. Um, it's like tempting to safe house Volcano here because uh, the Pincer Raider is going to take care of him. Being able to steal three is pretty good. Pretty good value. Um, but I'll save house red penny. And old Bruno. Um, I guess I'm just gonna reap with him. Uh, this game is gonna be a race. That's what it's gonna boil down to. Uh, I guess I'll go ahead and pop the miasma bomb. It's when old Bruno dies. This pincerator at the end of the turn. You forge. MG will take one. I'll say check with nine. I will draw two. Okay, I'll say shadows. Play a techno thief. Play a bow nithing. Steal. Reap with nexus to use your safe house on this bow nithing. Um, that messes up my zen 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 zen. Oh no, it doesn't. Nope, we're done. Okay, I will reap with Francis and reap with Bo and reap with Francis. Your turn. Okay, pencing occurs. Um. What is this dog doing? This dog is <laughs> something wrong with this dog. Getting comfy. I guess I'll say logos. I'll play infomorph. Um. Daughter of Munchling bought Bookton, and I'll tell you to go ahead. I will draw five. The pin signatures. Okay. Yeah, it's only like a subtle auto it's only okay with, right? And like old Bruno it's a it's a net. Yeah, because you, you would archive them, they'd get their amber back. Um, so but I mean it's just insane with the steel guys. Uh I think I say shadows. I pick up the archive. Say bow steel. I stole a lot of amber this game, and I think you've stolen more. Reef with Nexus. Use your safe house. You want to archive the bow you have. Please, please use the safe house. Please, sir. I will... I wanted to answer that Nexus, but I didn't have anything. Mm. I'll fight Bot Bookton. Both gain one. Reap with Techno Thief. This card. Brianna's attendant. Draw. Build. Yeah, play. Exactly. To vandalize. Draw. I'll discard that. I will play. Shadow Smith, Brad Penny. And I'll reap with Bone Ivy. It's uncontested boards and this set. I don't draw any cards. Pits are air. This dies this dies. Okay. Brad Penny shuffle though. Oh yeah. Okay, I am 
Go oh. archive for Cronus, yeah. Um, in that case, I do actually draw a card. Yeah, what's Before nuts? What's what's actually nuts is uh, you have what ten untamed cards at this point. Yeah. So, um, even if I deal with the shadows, I don't. I mean, I can maybe I can get to. Well, I actually don't draw an extra card, so. Okay. Um. Okay, I'm gonna fangs of Gizzleheart, uh, Zenz Zenz Zenzik, Urge, and I'll draw. Um. I am going to one stood against many. Um, I'll draw, and uh, Munchling is going to fight Francis. I'll discard, and then Munchling is going to fight Bo Nithing. Discard, and then Munchling is going to fight. Um, They're all, they all have shadow, or they all have elusive. So finally, Munchling's gonna fight Nexus, and I'll discard. Um, I will play Bulwark, I'll play Champion Anaphil, I'll play Zalvador, and the pincing occurs. Forge. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Play shadows. Yeah. Play archive. Play bone diving. Yep. Free with nexus. I like had to answer the nexus. Um, if I, I yeah, I lost my own safe house. How much does that suck? Reap with shadows, man. Your turn. Um, I have a commandeer, but that's not enough. Uh, yeah. I drew shadows removal. I got stuck in a 2-2-2 two, two, two hand there in the middle of the game when I took all those Shadows turns in a row. And even though I was making a lot of progress on that, I knew I was falling behind on card advantage. Yeah, the borders is getting insane. Um, then the Zen Zenzik drew a lot of cards. If I had had the one stood against mini earlier in that game, I think it would have been fine yeah. because I could have had like a big fight. It was frustrating a loss because as soon as he had like five Shadows uh, creatures on the table, I was like, I think this game is over. I don't think I played on Tame that game. No, I did once early on. You played wild two spirits. Wild Spirits, yeah. yeah. And it's, you just gotta have removal. This deck is not without removal, I just didn't have it, yeah. right? I kept playing Shadows and then kept drawing two Shadows cards, you know? I was like, I've seen... I've seen roughly six Shadows cards, so I'll play two Shadows cards, draw two Shadows cards. I was like, well, I get to keep using what's on the table, so I guess I'll say Shadows again. I drew two Shadows cards, and that happened three turns in a row. I had, the, I had the Fangs of Gizzleheart, um, but it wasn't until you killed my Shadow, until you standardized testing, that I could actually use it to... But my turn would have been... You standardized testing to kill my Shadow self, and... Um, that's when I took that another shadows turn and then you were like here's a bunch of shadows creatures and so I like look at my hand and it's fangs of gills heart and champion anaphil and I'm like that's well, a lame turn right <laughs> if I get yeah. rid of zinza 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 you you use five shadows creatures yeah um so yeah I just I don't know I felt like that's at that point at that point I don't think I have an out and you know I've lost the game thank you treat he was digging around for the treats. He couldn't find the treats earlier. First one's free. No parlor tricks necessary. He's a very hungry boy. <laughs> he's just he's, looking for the. He's game looking from. for the rest of them. <laughs> hey, are you? Hey. Hello. And they're all gone, dude. Yep, no one's ever given you any more treats. Yeah. Yeah, it was just gone. Like Especially right. in the set, right? It just gets it's away from so fast. So it's fast. so much worse in this set because um I think that so I think what happened is the game breaking abilities that 
We're locked almost exclusively in Sarian and Star Alliance of Worlds Collide are like actually spread out in this set. Um, and so any number of creatures that are left alive from any combination of houses just becomes this terrible, terrible threat. So, especially when it involves mutant stuff. Yeah. I had like Torado ch chill in the hand. Oh, too. yeah. The, I already cut right. Yeah. What? Done. What have you done? What's happening? Everyone look at Eddie. Uh, is it broken? It did close the thing. You could just try a new one. Yeah, it's, uh, so to start a new one, you go to the contest page. Oh, it just brings you right there? Yes, and it was redirecting me uh, uh, to the other thing. See? See that? Yep. It did start two contests on the first one, Bearded Archer said. Well, maybe broken forever. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I missed it starting the second contest then. I thought I had closed it out um, the first time, so I'm not sure. What deck am I playing? Is this Artemis? Okay. I hate losing a game like that on the first game of the night, because then I'm just like pissed off about that. Any minor, like the computer right there, minor inconvenience, I was unrationally mad about, right? Is that, why are you making noises? I was yawning. Why are you, why are you yawning, dog? Are you tired? <laughs> No, there was no, there were no entrants in the second contest. It just like started. Um, it just started a second one for no reason that nobody could participate in. Sorry, I had the yellow sleeves last game. It's the Starburst matchup. Six. Okay. On first. Yep. Seven. Tilt. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. Well, I'll say Logos. I'll play Qmix. Go ahead. I'll play Shadows. Uh, I'll settle Auto. Pink sleeves. Yeah, I agree. I'd be partial to the dark red sleeves as well. Oomph. I will mug. Uh, I'll just kill myself a lot of the mug. I so the question is do I play Pitzer here? Um I will play Pitzer. Uh, I will discard the game G. Okay. And die anyway. Your turn. Uh, the pincing occurs. I am going to say Shadows. I'll play Bow Nithing. I'll play Francis. I'll play Techno Thief and get one. Uh, and I'll play Rad Penny and steal one. End of the turn. Pence. Um, I do draw up first. Then the Rad Penny goes. I wonder if it's incorrect to play Pence Raider against that deck. I don't know. I feel like what's uh, Sanctum's deck. Yeah, right. I mean, if you got like some Sanctum dudes with actual armor in your hand, you're probably fine. I couldn't draw my Sanctum creatures until yeah. far too late in the game. I'll say Logos. I'm going to Entropic Swirl the Techno Thief. Boom. Bang. And I will play Infomorph and Bot Bookton. And then Pincing. Uh, 
Um, such a weird turn. Okay, I guess I'll say Untamed. I'll play Ritual of the Hunt. I will play Wild Spirit on Francis. I'll just discard this Gloriana's Attendant so that it just doesn't take the damage. So, your turn, I'll draw three and pin sink. I'll say Logos. I'll play a Kyo, Odd Pod, Creep with Infomorph, Deep with Butt Booked, and Play the top card, Radiant Trees. Your turn. The pin sink. Those. Check with six. All right, I am going to say Logos. I'll put my archives in my hand. I'm going to play the Qmex and draw. I will play Kronos. I am going to opposition research with a draw card on it. Draw, then archive. I'll archive this. Discard Dimension Door. Play a Mobius Scroll. Play Neuro Siphon. Um, get one. Steal one. Draw one. Play a Munchling. Um, get one. Draw one. Archive one. Just gonna take a library access turn without having to actually play library access. That, that takes so many draw icons in it and Q Max and stuff. Yeah. Um. And then I have this Professor Torado. You can't reap on the next turn, so it's safe to run them out there. Okay. Pincing occurs, and I'll say check with seven. I will draw. Did Torado take one? Yeah. Uh, not yet, but yes, he will be taking one. I, di I didn't put it on him yet, is what I was saying. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, he needs to take one. All right, I'll say Sanctum. I will play a Grey Rider. Fight the Professor. Draw. Bad news, everyone. Yeah. I'll free markets for one, two, three. And I will fangs. Do I fangs? I have to get my odd clawed. Get an amber and a draw. Uh, yeah, I'll fangs. Not worth. Good no, the, oh, yeah. the fangs is not the other way around. Okay. Insert. To shreds, you say. What about odd clawed? To shreds, you say. To shreds, you say. What about even Ivan? To shreds, you say. All right, I will forge. I am going to. The, did you take the damage off of Kia? Oh, he's dead. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll spend six and forge. I am going to say untamed. I'm going to play Fandangle. I am going to put a wild spirit on uh, Munchling. I am going to play Rapid Evolution. I'll choose Fandangle to give three plus one plus one counters. And it is your turn. Fandangle will take one. I'll draw three. You forge. Did Kronos take one as well? Yes. Okay. Uh, I think I gotta take a second turn because I gotta kill this Fandangle. So, or I could do this. Well, no, actually, this is fine. I'll play Shadows. Yeah, I'll play Shadows. I will play Miasma Bomb. I will play Safe House. I will tempting offer the Fandangle. One and a little dark wave. Greater dies. Pincer Raider. And I'll say check with six. 
Okay, I am going to say shadows. I'll put my archives into my hand. I am going to play Rad Penny and Steel One. I am going to play Nexus and Bow Nithing and Steel One. Uh, name the game name from the Tempting Offer. I'm going to play Francis the Economist. I am going to Perplexing Sophistry. Uh, get one, draw one, discard one, draw one. Uh, and then I am going to play Shadowsmith. It's a medium discard if I've ever seen one. Okay, uh, the pincing occurs. I have six cards in my hand already because of all the obscene amount of drawing I've been doing. Um, shuffle red penny into my deck and Shadowsmith takes one. Say so check with seven. I'll say logo. So I'll play a daughter, a forge compiler. And done. Okay, I am going to say Untamed. I am going to play a Fandangle. I'm going to Reclaimed by Nature. Honestly, it's tempting to Reclaim by Nature the Forge Compiler, but what I actually do here is I get the Pincerator. Um, so I am less likely to have the Nexus Bow combo broken up. I'll play Mushroom with a View. It's got a damage icon on it. Shoot the Daughter. And it is your turn. I will draw three. I'll say shadows. I will play Hildred, Old Bruno. It's a red penny. And I'll safe house the red penny. Play lights out. I'll get Fandangle and Nexus. With old Miasma Bomb. And I'll say check with six. Okay, I am going to say shadow, so I'm gonna look over there, old Bruno. Steal one, uh, uh, I don't for it, because I will play Nexus. I'm gonna use Mushroom with a view to heal Shadow Smith. I will vandalize you and draw. Uh, how about not that? I will put a bone rot venom on old Bruno. I will then reap three times, I think. Reap with bow, reap with Frankie, reap with Shadow Smith. And it is your turn, I'll draw one. This deck has an auto cutter. I had no idea. It, it does, it <laughs> does. I did know that um, because I looked at the bottom part of my deck and it was there. Yep. Well. One of the two. Yeah, I bought, um, I bought every season. I bought all the shirts for every season. Every season. I'll diamond your charge on Frankie. Okay. No, uh, Nexus did not get to read because he was bounced. And that is my turn. Okay, I will forge. Yep. There was six. Um... I am just going to say shadows here. I'm going to reap with Frankie. Then I'm going to reap with Nexus to use your safe house and archive Francis. And your turn. I will say uh, check with. 
go for. Uh, I think I needed that commandeer. I have six things to parts now. Yeah. Then you could just load up your dudes. I had a standardized testing that I could play last turn, which would just killed my creatures and removed all of your wards, but felt like just generating two amber there was enough because I knew about the ace the uh bad penny of the hole. Yeah. So Well uh, that, that game was like uh this matchup is interesting. Yeah. Because this deck is like it feels like that deck should be ahead, but this deck is just ahead the whole time, right? This is bone eyes, and like that nexus is so scary. And it's actually hard for this deck to remove the bone, the nexus, right? Yeah, because it wants to fight. So I did have all my sanctum just stacked to the bottom of my deck, though. So there was that. Yeah, the vandalize so, pretty much sealed it. Yeah, yeah. If I, I like, I can, I could totally see a. Um, that game was quick, by the way. Was, yeah, <laughs> games. But that wasn't quick. the sanctum on sanctum, though. Yeah, that's true. I didn't even hit the the new game button for that one. That match was no, done. The worm is yours, right? Yeah. So Artemis is still around. I think. I think. Uh, we'll have to figure it out. I'm not sure which decks are. What? Where? Artemis uh, one, right? Yeah. I was trying to keep the decks that are advancing on one side. No two zero. -oh. Yeah, that was, a, that was Artemis. Everybody Comes to Hanks is a really good episode. There you go. All right, Helm Allen is one of our six O's. Mushroom with a view. It's not a very good card. It's an interesting card. I like Omni effects. So. Yeah, I forgot to switch the banner. Here you go, Melkorm. 12 months, one year. Man, you did. Tier, year. tier one. Very nice. Thank you so much. Heck yeah. How many chains do you build in a matchup? Uh, a year. I tried to get my opponent to take it at seven. I think because I think that extra. It like game one, you would have won had I not just like gotten over that hump, right? So yeah, I think neither deck has super powerful answers for Amber. I mean, but can, nithing is good. We can good. beat the deck, yeah. So yeah, yeah, we'll take a look at it. We can beat. We got some time. Well, we'll have to stall. Stall for content. If I can get the window capture to work. Um, Worlds collide nostalgia. I like it. All right, we got Penrose Smiley Deplio. Double cut. Do you have a way? Reader Gallum can force your opponent to go high to force them into the cutthroats. Shadows, Inky Glooms, pretty good depending on the matchup. I think that's a card. There are a lot of people who hated Inky Gloom, right? But based off the of the amount of Worlds Collide that we played, Inky Gloom was like a good role player card. It was like very good against the Sarians. Yeah, it, I think it overperformed. Yeah, it's one of those cards. Expected. It's it's a it's a card that like um, depending on the matchup is situationally very good. I mean, I think opposition research is gonna fill that same role. Obviously, it does the same yeah. thing, but it's it's pretty good, especially yeah. in the set. The um, Menchego and the Brand. What can what can you do with Brand? Can you do anything with Brand? You got a Jar Gogol. Anything interesting you do with Jar Gogol? Your Golden Spirals is a lot of Golden Spirals though. You could stomp your own Brand, I suppose. You've got an Imperial Forge. Is that the one that forges based off of the cre the Amber in your creatures? Oh, so you could like yeah. Golden Spiral the heck out of a Strix. Yeah. And then, and then Imperial, Imperial Forge. Forge. So that, that is the combo of the deck. You also have Phalanx yeah. Strikes. You have six Semper, so you could load mm, something up with yeah. six Semper. Uh, yeah, yeah, Stomp. It's that, it's that classic. Quest Jar oh, you can quest your Jarda. Yeah. So you can yeah. like, you can Blaze, is... right? With yeah, that's, that's some that's some scary Sarian right there. And the Logos has uh, got a between the Tau Tau Vapors, the Memory Chip, the Daughter, the Doctor Millie, the Igor, and even the Jar Gogol. I mean, one of the nice things about Jar Gogol is he's kind of like a Yurk. Yeah. When you play him, you get to take a card out of your hand. It's like a better Yurk in that um, you can like set up that card to be used later. So. Um, yeah, I like Zek a lot. I think it's doing a lot of cool stuff. Plus, you have super yeah. combo Sarian. Yeah, if that Shadows were were Star Alliance, I think this deck would be nightmarish. Um, yeah, I do you this, think the Shadows is fine? The Shadows is fine. Yeah, the Shadows sure. is totally fine. I'm not gonna 
Um, I, I'm not a Worlds Collide Shadows hater. No. Nah. The number one Worlds Collide Shadows hater. I like I'm not Shadows Worlds Collide, actually. So, when you meet that guy, you tell him Nathan's got words for him. Imagine if that's already had a flop source. Yeah, that'd be bon- bonks. Yeah. You just mill to your combos. Yeah. Be so good. Uh, yeah. Pretty cool. It does only have 12 creatures. It's missing some uh, board control. Although the, the Sanctum so, does have the Phalanx Strikes, but those are like underperforming with the less creatures, right? Yeah, and Dr. Millie is better when you have fewer creatures. Yeah. Um, the Dr. Millie in Archon, I think, is actually a very powerful card from my experience playing Ardreff, yeah. which has two copies of Dr. Millie. Um, Dr. Millie is always... Like, you pl- like, Eddie is good because of the taxing, but you would play Eddie if he said play archive a card, right? I think most people would play that card. And trust no one. Like yeah. would be totally happy with that card. So um if Doctor if you play Dr. Millie and archive one card, then Dr. Millie was fine. Like you got your value out of Dr. Millie. Um and then there are other times where you play Dr. Millie and you archive like three cards and you feel really good about it. So Trust No One is a very good card. Uh, did that deck have a board wipe? Did it have an Axiom? I don't think it, it had does an Axiom. Not. It just had like no I, safety I, numbers, that's about it. Yeah, I, so I think that may be the one weakness for the deck, a yeah. deck that can go wider than it, because um, it looks a little light on removal, but that Saurian, that Saurian seemed like if you... if That's at least a roll the Inky Gloom fills, right? Sort yeah. of? It's a delay. Yeah, yeah, it's good, it's good. It keeps you from losing to the big boards yeah. then. I think so. I think the deck is wanting to, to get its combos off right. and ride those to victory, right? Yeah. Okay, what am I playing around? Pandemonium. Master of the Grey. The World Squad is just just so good. Lost in the Woods. Just so fun. Yeah, I love that set. The more, the more, the further away we I get from Worlds Collide, the more I love that set. Yeah, so. same. I think Worlds Collide has aged very well. I think like AOA has aged even better, but that's because the bar for AOA was lower. Contest? I think I already did. Long uh, ago. Unless you that's the last match. I think this is the last match. I'm impressed that I won. What? You did you win? Oh you did win. Yeah. Then <coughs> I don't remember, sorry. I think the peep the deck knocked off my load for the match. I only remember starting the the, the two matches. This is the ordeal last time. The ordeal. Okay. You roll the three. Yeah. All right, I'll again. The old one, two, three bet. Five. All right. Okay. Weird. I'm going to go first and play Saurians. I'm going to say four of the giants. Uh, okay. If you have a creature, this just gives you an amber. Yeah. But. Four, five, six from Stormstrong. <laughs> Alright, I'll play a bunch of Do Nothing Sanctum cards. <laughs> did we get away with it? Yeah, you did. <sighs> yeah. I'll say Sanctum, I'll play Champion NFL, I'll play Bulwark. And it's your turn. Draw two. Hmm. Okay. I'll say. Actually, no. <laughs> I see Coffee Saga's betting based off of Justin's expressions in the first two turns. <laughs> I'll say Untamed. I'll play a Flump. I'll discard Commune. No, I guess I play Commune. Um, your turn. You do a damage to one of my armors, I assume. Yeah. 
So, all right, Form of Giants gives me one. I am going to say this. I'm going to play Sinestra. Uh, I'm not going to play Sinestra. I'm going to play Gleeful Mayhem. Sorry. I'll blow up the Flame if I will do some damage to my champion NFL. Then I'll play Sinestra. That way I don't have to shoot my own Sinestra. I'll play Sender. I'm going to... I'll discard Grim Reminder. Okay. Um, now, yeah. I don't think that deck has a lot of board wipes. Uh, so... Um, it just it sucks to discard this card on like turn three, but okay, go ahead. I'm gonna say this. I'll implosion the Sinestra. Oh, I had set up the situation for her. Play Dark Minion. Play Inspector. Do damage there. Play Infernus. Capture one. There. I'm gonna purge my stuff. Get equalize and Green Glare. And your turn. I gain one from four of my giants. That's probably always going to happen. I am going to say this. I'm going to mark of this the Infernus uh, and draw. I will play my own Inspector. And then. Cinder is going to fight um, the Imp Spectre. And so you'll get a card from my hand. Oh, Techno Knight, no. Okay, it is your turn. <laughs> I will draw to you. Mindfire. Oh, that doesn't damage you. Uh, I'll do a damage <laughs> to... Thanks for stopping by, Sidecrapper. Steal one. Uh, I'll do a damage to... I kind of want to like just purge a card in my hand. But also... Kinda of don't. Uh, oh, we'll just do the structure though. Then I'll read twice. Yep. Your turn. All right. I'm gonna gain one from the form of giants. I will say, uh, sanctum. I'm gonna play commandeer. I saw that Andrew's prediction is ten for ten as of last night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that crybear had like either eight or nine right. I'll play our hero. I'm gonna play Potion of Invulnerability. Eleven for eleven now. Wow. Invulnerability. He told us which decks to win, to make win. There, there. Actually, Sender's just so hard to remove. Um, Bulwark Champion Anvil is gonna reap, and then Bulwark will. Uh, I'll fight the Infernus in case you've drawn the um, Lost in the Woods. Okay, I'll say check with six. It's your turn. He'll forge. I will draw four. I should, yeah. Okay, so Stormstrong has generously offered a special prize for last place. <laughs> I will reveal that right now. So you're hearing it for here first. You're in last. I have not, I have not even heard this. Yeah, one. I know. If you're in dead last, you get a prize. I was not even... <laughs> not even consulted. I was not even consulted about this. I'm gonna play Sanctum. The Scrivener. You were in last until today. Techno Knight. Your turn. What would you right. say his deck does? Uh, start <laughs> of the turn, form of giants. So I'll forge for six. Yep. It is a legitimate prize, not a roll of TP. Second to last is actually the worst place, yes. Yeah. That would have been gold in, in March. Now, not so yeah. much. <laughs> we, get, we rewind the clock. Uh, it's because Stormstrong is a toilet paper hoarder, and he's got a he's got more toilet paper than he knows what to do. He's got to give it away. <laughs> Can't resolve my bonus icons, huh? Nopers. I will say, um, I'll say sorry. I'll, uh, you don't even have anything to steal. Nope. But 
the rest of my turns suck as well. Well, okay, fine. Here comes Citizen Tricks. I am going to play Dreadbone Decimus. I'll exalt to kill Scrivener. Scrivener, Scrivener. Jeez, it's more important. I don't want you randomly capturing stuff. I'm going to play Cornice and Octavia, and I will play Terror Dactyl. And it is your turn. I will draw four. Play Van Dangle, play Dark Harbinger, play Nephilim, play Nephilim Queen Goat. All right, start of the turn, I will form of giants. Yeah. I am I don't understand what the deck's doing here. I'm going to say Sanctum. I will pop this potion of invulnerability. I'm going to play a Grey Rider here, and Cinder's going to fight the Master of the Grey. I am going to play a Bulwark and a Barrister Joya. Mm -hmm. That's nice. I forgot those. That was the Barrister Joya. Jeez. Yeah. Who? Uh, this Ardent Hero. There's no sense in letting these uh, problematic creatures live. Champion Anafil is going to fight Fandangle. Um, Bulwark is going to fight Dark Harbinger. And then Ardent Hero is just going to reap. And it is your turn. I just keep playing creatures. Say Sanctum, I'll play a Champion and do one to the Barrister Joya and then fight with Techno Knight. Play Amberheart, call Burning Glare. Surely you have some mutants. Yeah, I'll stun all mutants. One mutant. So all mutants? Yep. Mutant. 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 My Here. turn. Yep. I will get an amber from four of the giants. Yep. Turns out gain amber one amber a turn on an it's artifact pretty is good. pretty good. It's pretty good uh, effect. I am going to see Sanctum. I am going to unstun um, Bulwark. I'm going to unstun Bulwark. I am going to play a Bulwark. I am going to play an uh, Barrister Joya, who's enhanced with an amber icon. Just kill that. I will do a damage to the Niffle Ape, I guess. Um, Ardent Hero is going to fight the Techno Knight. He takes no damage because that is a mutant and also a creature with power five fire. Um, Grey Rider is going to reap. Um, Cinder. Bulwark. I guess Cinder. Sure, I'll crash Cinder into the Dark Mute, um, finally. Um, so everything takes one, 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 one. That armor, armor, one, one. No, can't take damage. Inspector dies, I'll purge a card. Grey Rider takes one. Salt killed, armor, one. And one. That deck doesn't have Cleansing Wave, right? Doesn't, mm, I don't remember. Form uh, does wave. not trigger if there are no creatures on the board, I believe. Yeah, at the start of your turn, the player who controls the most powerful creature gains one. I think there has to be a creature. Uh, champion Anaphil, I think just reaps. Okay. And it is your turn. So you check with eights. Okay, I will say... Roll two. Tamed. Oh, good lord. I'll fight the Grey Rider with Nifflate. Okay. I will fight Bear Shirt Joya with Nifl Queen. I will Wild Spirit Champion. I will Lost in the Woods for the Thunder and the Bulwark and my Untamed Creatures. And 
I'm done. Okay. Uh, I control 12 power creatures. So uh, if both players can control the same power creature, then the active player chooses which of those is the most powerful. Yes. Why didn't Arden Hero take one from the Dark Minion? Because the Dark Minion is a mutant creature. ECO gives to both? Mm, I don't think that's right. Yeah, I think that's probably wrong. I feel like that's wrong. Uh, every other time there was a oh. dis- the most powerful cheating. Shuffle the Lost in the Woods. Yeah, back. Good happened. lord. Shuffling the Lost in the Woods back into the deck instead of his creatures? That's some next level cheating. Yeah, I don't think it's right that both people get one. The player who gained the player. Yeah, coffee yeah, socks it's confirmed. Active. Yeah. That's 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 a guarantee right there. The coffee saga guarantee. They implemented both players getting it? Where'd they get all that from? Your turn. You forge. Yes. You also gain one. Uh, yes. Alright, gonna say Saurians. Gonna play Dreadbone Decimus, not use his ability. I'm gonna put Siren Horn on this Dreadbone Decimus. I am going to unstun these two dinosaurs. These two dinosaurs are just gonna reap. And then what? I play so you stay interested. Okay, sure. Jeez. Say check with six. Good. Okay. I'll say this. I'll play a snudge. I'll play Gabos. I'll play Dark Minion. I will play Pandemonium. Your turn. I gain one from Forum of the Giants. Okay. Rolled. What? Huh? Oh, you slash. Exclamation mark R apparently is roll. Weird. <laughs> yeah, I agree, Archon Kelly. Matrix bot. One that's amber should be on the second from right creature. Uh, why not? Okay. One of these should be on this. That probably. Is that correct, Mertani? Mm. Okay. Uh, okay, my turn. I am going to say I got the one at the start of the turn. I am going to say Saurians. I'm going to play Galeatops and draw. I will. Um, have Dreadbone Decimus fight um, Champion NFL. So before the fight, I'll move that over there. And then this uh, Dreadbone Decimus will fight Champion NFL. doesn't take any damage because of assault. I will have Pterodactyl fight Snudge. Everything takes some damage. Is that in the rulebook, Stormstrong? Because that, that's pretty clear right there. <laughs> Yeah, it's been that way since the beginning, right? It's like Six Emperor. It's not like Six Emperor kills two most powerful creatures, right? Yeah. Um, what what was the first... Because least powerful... Right? What Was there anything in the first set that required the most powerful? Or least powerful? Because... Um, AoE does. The Cull the Weak referred to the least powerful. I guess so. Oh, 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 okay, well, I wasn't done. But okay. That doesn't matter. I don't care. I'm done. I'm done. Okay. Three fates, yeah, three fates. Yeah, yeah, that's better. Champions since... challenge also. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been around since the first set, so this is this is well well traveled territory here. 
Well, that's not the case in it for any other any other uh, card, right, Bill? Because like six emperor still kills the most powerful creature, and it, it kills the tribute and, once you choose. Yeah, and tribute lets you choose as well. So he's gonna treat. That would that would be inconsistent, I think, if they said that. Where is he? It's this one one asleep dog. Where could he be? Yeah, and then, like you just have to assume that active player is choosing all ties at all times. I think. What's he doing? Eddie. Eddie. Hey. You want a treat? A treat. Pretty good. Yeah. But did you uh, borrow like it and tooth. then and it was triggering both? Fang tooth. Yeah, it's not gonna. Yeah, it's not gonna. Fang tooth doesn't kill every yeah this creature. Right. right. And it's so. the same wording, right? That's why fang tooth is so good. That's why I mean it's just symmetrical effects in this game aren't symmetrical, right? Because one person not like you get to decide when when that happens. So the effect is typically worse for one player than the other. And it's typically worse for the opponent. Because Fangtooth says at the end of turn destroy the least powerful creature, right? Yes. At the end of your turn destroy the least the least powerful creature. <laughs> Chakras quickly becomes the most powerful creature. At the end of your turn, destroy the least powerful creature, yeah. That doesn't really equate, right? Because it doesn't say the player in it. Does that have to do with the card refers to the player and not the creature? Yeah, the player is the thing that isn't in other cards, right? Uh, yeah. But whenever you play a card that chooses the most powerful creature, it goes and seeks the most powerful creature, right? It things it goes a heart. Yeah, so it's, it's, it, the card is looking for the most powerful creature, and the active player chooses which creature it sees, right? Right. Yeah, I, I think I think that's right. I think I think you're only ever getting one. Grant. Let's see that. Keeping the keyboard. See the keyboard deck. deck. Blanket. And as player because it gains amber, not creature. Yeah, it doesn't affect creatures. Really like some of both players would say each player. Yeah, we're players, right? Because that's that's easily all it has to do is say players, and then it's yeah. It's the, clear. The, if it said the player or players with the highest power, with the most powerful creature, yeah, or with the the creature with the highest power, I don't know. Library of Polosaurus, Curiosaurus, Doctor Millie in the logos. Oh, wait, okay. oh oh okay, Doctor Millie is legacy. a legacy. Okay, that's cool. Eaton's Jar. Don't know how that card plays with or against. Yeah, we, we, get it. we, we ain't got, got one of those. We ain't got that. Um, I, but I'm sure it's a, I'm sure it's a powerful card. Double Snudge. It's double very good. Inferno. I played against it online. It's pretty good. Double Inferno, Double Snudge is pretty crazy. That right? is very good. Yeah, it's easy to set up too. Especially if you have Eaton Jar that can kind of protect that. Yeah. Uh, one mark of disc, of course. That's really good. Yeah, we got no jars, no sins, no jars. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, Logos is bouncing Death Park, which I always love to see. Two group think tanks is awesome. Yeah, I love Group Think Tank. Yeah. Like, let's logic I think, I think, I think Group Think Tank is my favorite Logos creature. Oh, sorry. Blast from the Past. Hershey is real good. Charybdis and Scylla are real fun. Real solid. Tabletop Royale board. preview card. High Priest Torvus. Yeah. What can, what can Torvus do? Hershey is, could maybe be okay. Blast um, from the Past Blast is okay. Past Ancient okay. Power is very good. Uh, Yeah, you don't want to bounce. I play guess you don't want to play it twice, play it twice in the same turn. Um... Yeah, that's true. You have Library Pile Source to go with it, though. 
Blast from the Curiosaurus. Pa- Blast from the Past is probably the best one to hit, right? Because you could get Silent Cryptus back and do seven to like two different targets. Yeah. It has a lot of exalting your own creatures, but I think you're fine with that because of the Curiosaurus, yeah, right? that's true. Like you want... That ideal board state is one on all of your creatures. Because then you can play the Bouncing Death Quark and then have like the load up their, one of their creatures turn and then kill yeah. it. That'd be pretty sweet. Bouncing Death Quark, Curiosaurus is probably I a think, combo. Yeah, you could build some crazy stuff around that combo. Yeah, this deck, this deck seems like it's probably slow to get started, but in the mid-game it probably really comes alive. Yeah. You could probably... Um, tailor your game plan to based off what the opponent is doing so we cool uh spoilers is that is that our world's collide spoilers yeah it is yeah it's so that's a bit out of date yeah that's a bit out of date that's out of date yeah okay i it's if i if i at all (laughs) updated the website then maybe eddie treat oh yeah where was this eddie treat Rant, no wait. No. It was Kim Can and uh I got uh Yeah, we got the we got the Kakasaka treat. Yeah, I got the Kakasaka treat. Yep. You're all messed up. Maybe maybe your chat is messed up. Hit hit F F five there. Did I shuffle this at all? I don't know. You okay. had it. Maybe you didn't. You gotta shuffle it. Okay. Sorry, right, Pierrot. <laughs> it is very fancy. Extremely cool. I almost I go to some channels and I it those uh like bit trophies and those gift trophies I almost feel like are predatory because people just get into like wars over them and you're just like watching all this money get thrown at the channel and you're just like <laughs> That being said, Claymore is in first place right now. Yeah. <laughs> with eight gifts. Yeah, not to not to not to rag on anybody who gives. And you're only four behind, Pierrot, so. So but yeah, it's just one of those. I was watching a channel where somebody anonymously donated four hundred subs. Good lord. <laughs> and I was like, this is a stolen credit card. <laughs> Did like, that get closed? No. Uh, Yeah, we need some trophies here. Someone designed some trophies. The belts. Let's make the belts. Yeah, yeah, that'd be a good idea. Oh, you hadn't thought of the BDQ combo? Well, there you go. Yeah, it was. Mushroom Man's well spent. You can only do 100 at a time, but they donated 100. Yeah, back there back. it is. They got them. We got them. Got them. Bo- we boomed them. Boom, boomed them. Ah, I am the predator. <laughs> Thank you, P Rod. I am those five. Go- I am the predator. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and now Pete Rise in first place. <laughs> this isn't a channel where we beg for money. Uh, we got Mazgato with a gift, so that's pretty funny. That is, uh, that is Lyle from Crit yeah. Yeah. Never subbed. Golden <laughs> Apple. <laughs> we can pay the video, yeah. <laughs> Do you want that roll? I roll a five. I roll like a three. I, yeah, I roll a three. Okay. Enjoy the soothing tones of the X Men. Yeah. Three bits from Zarp. Zarp. New follower, Buchan007. <laughs> I already worked one sales job, and that was a job that I didn't think was sales, but turned out to be sales, and that's working the bank. In the bank. Yeah. Oh, that's sales. Apparently, uh, we have never gotten a DMC flag for the X Men song. So, yeah, I would I would claim that's fair use. It's less than ten seconds. Yeah, I think I think that counts as fair it's use. A, it's a clip. That is fair use. We never got clipped for three eleven is either. Yeah, we never, we never got clipped for Amber. It tells you if you got clipped and what song you got clipped by. So, uh, okay. I will play uh, Inspector. I am going to say Untamed. I'm going to play Dark Harbinger. I'll play Niffle Ape. I'm going to play Mutation of Cunning on the Dark Harbinger. 
to give it a elusive and a mutant trait, and it's gonna ready, and I'm gonna reap with it. Yeah, we had issues on the belt reveal, but I had to download the vid and then upload it to YouTube manually because of the Doom song we played. <laughs> I will play, sorry, I'll play Amphora Captura, play Dreadbone Decimus, I will exalt to kill the Harbinger, I will play Pterodactyl. I didn't even get the Amphora Capture out. Stunned. Yeah, I forgot it was in this deck. I'll play City State. Well, that's a whole lost amber now. It's gone. Your turn. Honestly, I'm just going to say... I'm going to say this. I'm going to play Infernus just to purge the City State interest. I think if you get around to... You, Playing that card again, I've already lost. I'll play Gavos Long Arms, I'll play Imp Spectre, I will do a damage to the so this. And turn I'll draw three. Play sorry, and I'm gonna fight Gavos. I will play a Sizzle Tricks. I will unstun the Dactyl. I'll play Corners and Octavia. Your turn. I will say Untamed, I'll play Dark Fairy, I'll play Flumph, I'll do a damage to the Pterodactyl, I'll play a Niffle Ape down here, and then this Niffle Ape is going to fight um, Citizen Tricks. Yeah, uh, the DMCF stuff gets me very, very mad because I'm, I'm in agreement, Bill, like, the artists probably are fine. Yeah. Almost every artist is going to be totally fine with a random streamer even if they have 20,000 viewers playing their song because that yeah. was going to drive that's like increasing they, their audience here's the thing by x amount here's the thing that that makes me mad i can't go to the artist and say hey can i pay you x dollars a month to play the song your songs on my channel yeah. right i have to go through the labels okay and the labels are the litigious ones yeah not the artists. The artists, the artists have no say at the all. The artists made their music because they want people to listen to it. The uh, the guy that's in Dragon Force streams on Twitch and sometimes he plays their song and he gets DMCA'd for his own that's, music. That's an algorithm thing yeah. too, right? Yeah. That's that's the thing. That's the that's the stupid part about part of some of it is that it there's just no human is looking at this. It's just it's just uh, it's, it's legal it's, bots. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, trying to sue to make money because that's how they make money is by suing people and getting settlements. Yeah. yeah, it makes me so mad. I get, get getting heated. I get really mad about all the MCA stuff. All right, I'm going to say... Sorry. Getting I'm, heated in here. Yeah. I you, will... Oh, and, had and, somebody, and somebody uh, had the gall to make a Twitter post about how streamers you're have You're talking about the dude from Stadia. The super... The head... The, okay. Did the this, Stadia, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Could this... That tweet right there... That made is, me mad. That tweet right there is horseshit. And I don't mind telling you that. They don't, they don't know the tweet. The tweet basically said that streamers should have to pay publishers to play their game because they yeah uh, they don't control the content the rights to the game yeah the content and that's 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 horseshit right there because i want to know how much of google was built using open source libraries it was okay the, uh, it was like the lead it was the designer for stadia i can't remember what he's, he's, he's part of stadia he's, he's on the stadia and, team yeah it's team. like if you're in the software industry you use open source libraries yeah he's okay? a known anti-streamer he's made other posts that are like reading it, you're like where do you even get that take from yeah, that and that's just that's just yeah. I mean, it, no, no. <laughs> the, my favorite was the slasher tweet where he was like, "Hey, people are finally talking about Stadia." <laughs> <laughs> Lead artistic designer for Stadia. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Anyway, I'll say sorry. And that um, that is that is like that is peak capitalist brain right there. It's like you've transcendentalist transcended to capitalist heaven, <laughs> where you're like. Every every transaction between humans must have a cost. You know? And that's just good lord. I'll play Dreadbone and kill Floomph. I'll play People don't do things for fun. People only do things for profit. Thera Centurion. I will Can you imagine enjoying something awful? Fight Inspector with the Pterodactyl. Okay. Blow up that stuff. Uh, blow up all of this. Yeah, like Among Us wouldn't even exist. Without uh, streamers picking it up, Fan uh, Phasmophobia is another example recently of a game that a big streamer played, and then it blew up, got a lot of extra, extra sales. So it's <laughs> and like, music's the same way. Like I've heard so many new artists just from listening to streams and be like, "Oh, that's pretty cool," and then I go check them out. You know, 
Ugh. Copyright laws make me so mad. Yeah, well, yeah, we can thank Disney for that, by the way. Yeah. Um, I am going to say. Ooh, I'm gonna say Untamed. Take the one in six. No, I don't even take the one in six. I simply. Um. Like imagine if 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 Fancy Flight made us pay to play Keyforge on stream. Yeah. Like how like nobody would play this game. Yeah. Like imagine if Fancy Flight came to us tomorrow and said, "Hey, you guys have to pay us a thousand dollars a month to play Keyforge." On no, stream. no one would stream Keyforge on Twitch, right? Yeah. There wouldn't be like how much how much community effort goes into putting Keyforge on on Twitch for little return. Yeah. Right. Like there there's so many people who stream this game on on Twitch. And like, th there's no, there's no money in it. Yeah, we, right. We don't have the rights to the name Justin and Nathan. So yeah, yeah. We owe a lot of people. It's, it, we do it because it's fun. Like, yeah, I don't know. Uh, an H bomber guy had a funny response to his tweet where he was like, "I would quote tweet you, but you'd probably charge me for it." <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. Which I thought. That was a pretty, pretty funny one. Do I don't know what to do from this situation. Um, it's like take, which bad turn do I take? I uh, I guess I take this turn. I'll say this. I'll play Lyco Fiend. I'll do a damage to Dreadborn Decimus, and then I'm gonna implosion the Niffle Ape, um, to kill the Pterodactyl. The problem is the Pterodactyl literally kills. Like yeah, everything you ever play forever board. for the all of time. I'll draw to you. Go ahead. All right, I will say this. I'm going to. This is fun. Yeah. Uh, mark of this the Lyco fiend. If you want to draw, I will reap with Imp Spectre. I will implosion the Imp Spectre to kill the Lyco fiend. Deal one. Purge card. <laughs> Nice, Lord Farquaad. I agree. I agree with Code Red. Oh, come on, dude. Mind. I'll play Gleeful Mayhem just to do some damage to my Cornism. You already marked a Decimator this turn. Yep. Take your turn. Okay, I will yeah, play. It is, it is purged. Sanctum. Hot. Okay, I'll play. I'll play Bears for Joya and do a damage <laughs> to the Dark Knight or the Dark Minion. I'll play Lord Golgotha and do a damage is, to Bears for Joya or no, damage to himself. Play Bears for Joya. Play Champion and Affil. Play Lord. Techno Knight. Have you ever seen a game that is more done than this one? <laughs> I mean, this is how I felt the entire game too. I'll say check with seven. Okay. I'll say Sanctum. I'll play Techno Knight. I'll play Commandeer. I guess I could play the other. I'll play so I was like, what does that deck do in here? I'll play Commandeer. I'll play Techno Knight. It'll capture one. I'll Burning Glare the Thero Centurion. Uh, capture. It's your turn. I'll draw. I'll say check with six. I'll draw three. That deck is like say... that deck is like one Ludo away from being oh, absolutely <laughs> crazy. Yeah, I'll play a form of giants. Get the bots. Be a scooper. Play a scooper. You, you know you you don't need to happen to you, scooper. I you can will... get out of here. See, look at look at this. Look I'm at this. Yeah, we should honestly we should be paying that bot for the exposure this bot is giving us. Reap. Yeah, exactly. For the service this bot's giving us. Reap. You shoot him up. Yeah. <laughs> Your turn. <laughs> I don't forge? No, sir. Okay. I am going to say Sanctum. Play Umbra Knight. I am going to play Equalize. And then... The Techno Knights is going to fight the Dreadbone Decimus. 
No, he'll take three. Uh, it's your turn. I'll say check with nine. I'll draw two. Of course. I will say Sanctum. Play Commandeer. Play Ardent Hero. <laughs> Capture one. Eddie never gave me an answer to that question, by the way. Capture one. We don't know if he does or does not work for OFG. Play. Will work. Eddie may have some secret deals Capture we're not aware one. of. Play Potion. Oh, I get one for the the thing, the form. The potion, I'm going to use that for capture. Eddie's under an NDA. And then yeah. capture one. Even answering the question is against uh, his NDA. He's an FFG mole. I'll replay Techno Knight. Discard this and draw. I will play Bulwark. I'll, I'll just reap a bunch. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Here's your turn. Gotta say Sanctum! Gonna play an Amber Heart. Gonna burn and glare mutants. Which is not a non zero amount of your cards. Uh, I will reap with my own Techno Knight. I cannot reap with Techno Knight. Now I gotta fight Barrister Joyous. Um... Oh, yeah, I need to capture that. The last will work, I believe. Cool. Uh, okay, I guess Techno Knight is gonna fight your bulwark. Sure, it'll fight your bulwark. And then this Techno Knight is going to fight Cornus and Octavia. And it's your turn. I'll say check with six, so I will draw two. Porch. <laughs> I'm waiting for the TTR card. Gotta have it eventually. All right, I'll say this. Play Brick Key. I will play Naret. Oh, you, he executed the Eddie 4 by 4 Sinestra, Drecker. Wow, perfect. Stirring Grave. It's perfect form. Perfectly executed in chat. Masterful. Let's clap. Let's clap right Clap, clap, clap. Please clap. Uh, I'm done. Oh, I was supposed to get one for form as well. I keep forgetting form. Your turn. And. All right, it captures one. Okay. Oh, I reshuffle. Clap, clap, clap. I can't stop you. Okay, you got it. Jeez, this deck. This is bullies. You better have a board wipe or two. Probably two. You, I think you need you need to think multiple board wipes. Yeah. And then I just not have Grim Reminder. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know. This deck's. Uh, he's it's trucking things. It's been trucking things the whole time. I couldn't get to any of the varied removal. And doing damage is not sufficient board control no. against this deck at no, all. No, damage doesn't do anything against that deck. No. Stunning, it's just like, okay, well I'll just play some other creatures. I don't get around to stunning these originally. Yeah, so much for me saying that it was gonna be slow night. I'm yeah. all in his Once you get the board taken. It just right, takes it it wins. Yeah, it takes over. Are you twelve for twelve? Twelve for twelve. Good that's lord, actually, rigged. That's actual, actually insane. Actually rigged. Yeah. <laughs> How much did you pay? One hundred. One hundred bits, wizard. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Oh gosh. Okay. Let's see. Let's. It's our our nightly tip from wizard. Advance the thing. Ooh, Venus Igna Chop. Mm. Oh no, it's not. Just kidding. No, it is. It is. It is. Unkidding. Venus Igna Chops tomorrow night. Uh, Wednesday. Yep. Yeah. And uh, two two o knights, yeah, two two o knights, pretty pretty crazy. Um, Mentor of the future, which is the uh, ultra gravitron deck. I P really like that deck. P Griffith, the square the square judge. I remember P Griffith being pretty strong too. And then Venus Ignachop and El Sana, the ancestor of Ignis Industry. It, just imagine if Venus loses this round. Just think about it. I Every bracket trashed. I think, and I think Ad Keen had Venus pick to win. So. 
Um, I, I, else does, uh, Ignachop does have Reclaimed by Nature, right? It does. Okay. Because this does, uh, Elsana is the Kixel Stone deck. Ooh, okay. Well, actually, um, uh, I think Venus loves the Kixel Stone on the board. Really? Oh, okay. it just loves it. Okay. Put a, just put it on the board, please. Okay. It's, it's begging you. P. Griffith. Oh, it's got the Star Alliance Purify. It's okay. got the P. Griffith. That, that is decent. Which is, uh, cool looking. So. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's not against Venus, though. Um, okay, it's against Mentor. So we were we were talking to one of our uh, IRL friends, or I, I was talking to one of our IRL friends who's been like slowly getting into Keyforge. He's like, he's enjoyed playing it off and on, um, but he bought a bunch of mass mutation decks and he got a Sanctum Maverick Rad Penny, which is baller. Huh, that's, that's pretty really cool. cool. Yeah. So um, I was like, that's awesome. And he he like was confused about Mavericks, right? That's how little Keyforge he's played and experienced. He like didn't know that Mavericks were a thing. So no, he just like had it. Like, what's this thing? All right, we gotta we gotta peep my deck, Zarp. Oh yeah, lots of lots of deck reviews. The tonight. resistive 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 metal mind of Wardenston. That's that's okay. actually pretty difficult to say. Uh, mass mutations. We got a, a legacy festering touch, not the most exciting uh, legacy festering touch, though. Um, I I enjoy that card. Uh, d being able to do some damage randomly is just always kind of nice. Yeah. Um, the disc and actually it's double... probably better with like uh, now that there's damage icons floating. Around, yeah, right? it probably gets really good in this set. I don't yeah. know how much damage icons you have to go around, but it does have grim reminder. It's got two snorets. Double snorets. Screaming cave. Grim okay. reminder. Auto encoder, auto encoder, screaming cave is certainly interesting, right? Yeah, that could you be could good. aggressively, you could aggress like you, um, your situational cards, you can aggressively pitch and you don't care because Two you sloppies. can just screaming cave them back. Zinzi, double sloppy, sloppy, and auto encoder is really good. It's dumb. And then a collective it's, inquiry, of course, is very good. Yeah, you just load up that archive. Um, doesn't matter. If well, it's the auto encoder, the auto encoder, grim reminder encourages you to pitch creatures so that you can grim reminder them back. Yeah. Um. So. All right, uh, Sarian. Dep depending on the matchup, Axiom, yeah, Axiom. Axiom is nice. Axiom like ended up being better. Uh, as we the more we played Mass Mutation because we were kind of down on it for a while. Yeah, right? it was early on. It was really bad, yeah. but um, as the decks that were faster emerged, the faster decks. Don't have a lot of capturing. Yeah. They're not nearly as much capturing. And you need that actually to like get you out of the hole of a yeah. scary. Yeah. So board. when you're when you're you're the slower Saurian and the slower Saurian Sanctum decks love seeing an Axiom because you can take a turn that plays three creatures and an Axiom and you've taken the initiative back in the game. And those chains against those chains don't hurt as badly when you've like taken the initiative back on the board. So yeah, wipes are probably the most important thing. I, uh, yeah, against yeah. against the majority. You, of you want any decks. kind of way to interact with the board. Yeah, like any at all. Um, something that kill something that can kill lots of creatures even better in this in this set. So uh, it's got it's got sea state interest. You have two oh, perfectus yeah. sea ludos. State, sea state plus axiom is a combo and two perfectus ludos. Uh, the the Saurian here is pretty strong. Yeah, this is a good Saurian. So it's you, also got the M four. You you do not mind at all. Um. Grim remindering the Saurian side. Go to the main probably isn't that good in this set with the mutants. Uh, yeah, it is very good against other sets though. It can be. Um, I, I, even in Molds Collide, I, I like had myself holding it and being like, "This it kills nothing." Yeah, you need like it, it, when you have got something on the board, it gets better when you can like fight the one matching piece off yeah. the table and then go to the mini and get out get a bunch of stuff. So, um, you could use good of the mini after an axiom to clean up. That's right. true. Yeah. So. All right. Yeah, solid deck. Uh, the the logo s seems nuts. Yeah. I think I think that that makes the deck very efficient. So. Classic Mastication logos making a deck good. Yeah. <laughs> it's logos plus any two other houses that have some sort of proactive game plan. And I really like the Zarian in that deck. So. Yeah. I can see that being, the the strong suit the closer. Like, so I think what like a lot of what happened was a lot of Zarian was removed in the first round. And then most of the Saurian that advanced into that round advanced to the next round. Yeah, the Saurian is like the Saurian that's left is just overperforming, right? Yeah, like the Saurian here is crazy. The, yeah, crazy good. Yeah, and it's like it's crazy. It's this is like a very reminiscent of Worlds Collide Saurian. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's see, Theros Centurion City State Interest, 
But it's also got the good stuff in the set. It's got two pterodactyl tricks. So those are and you have, Decimus. I was gonna say you have three cards from Worlds Collide, but this Saurian feels more Worlds Collide-y than any of the other Saurian we've played in this set. And right? the, the insane thing is like the play effects on top of the Grim Reminder. Yes. Right. Yes. Because there's five play effects. You got you got Shrix, Shrix, Theros and Tyrion, and the two Dreadbone Decimuses. So uh, and the Galatops is uh, got a card a draw, draw. Yeah. on it. So you don't mind archiving all of those. So yeah, this deck is pretty fun. Exile and Fangs. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, Exile is scarier in this set in a lot of ways than I think it was in Worlds Collide. Especially because like you just hand them a bunch of amber and then you get it and they don't have an they, answer for you it. You have cards like Gorvanal. Like there's there's cards outside of Saurian. That just right? The fact amber. that Sanctum exists with Commandeer and whatnot, there 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 are like combos where um Exile you're not exiling a Saurian creature, you're exiling something else. Um, or just so. Antony, Snurhead. Antony, yeah, right. I mean, there's there's all kinds of creatures. That Even Deosilus, yeah. Right. If you could kill it, it's per, I mean, Fangs of Gizzle Heart. I mean, if they're not a Saurian deck and you give them Deosilus, like, yeah, it's like it, it might be worth it for them to activate just Deosilus, but that's the thing, that's the, that's the, as more houses get released, Exile gets more powerful because you can donate creatures. They can't, if you even if you don't can't answer it immediately, right? You don't have the way to kill it right that turn. You're just using it as like a down payment on your next key. Um, the the you know next set you're playing a mass mutation deck versus a um, a deck with like unfathomable in it, right? And you give them you give them uh, a disc creature, you give them a snoret, you know. And I mean snoret, I think it might be if snoret's got five on it. I think taking an action just to use snoret may be worth, yeah. I mean that's still like that's it, a downturn. You're then, losing a whole turn. Yeah, it's though. probably if that's tough to be I, worth it. Yeah, that's, that's really tough to make that call. I mean, it, if it's if it's like seven eight amber, then it's probably worth it. But I yeah. mean that's I mean like that you've got that kind of uh, you know you got that kind of like option at at your disposal. So all right, well another quick stream. Yeah. So yeah, appreciate everybody stopping by tonight. Back on uh, Wednesday. Yeah, back on Wednesday. Bangers on Wednesday. Bangers only on Wednesday. It's gonna be pretty fun. Uh, the one that Bungles Knights was eliminated. Yeah, get that deck up out of here, dude. It was. It was. It's the one who Bungles Knight. This one of yours. Yeah. Okay. It was not great. Um, Friday. Barkham Horror. Yeah, Barkham Horror. We're gonna do some doggy investigating. Yeah. Pretty excited about it for Halloween. I will have to relearn how to play Arkham Horror. But, uh, yeah, it's not that hard. And figure out how to build a deck for yeah, Barkham Horror. Yeah, uh, we'll probably have to spend all day Thursday building decks. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, it's Barkham Horror time. Put on your Deer Hunters. Put on your Elder Signs. Let's, make, let's draw the Elder Sign real quick. Something like this. This. Something like that, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. That's accurate. It, that, or I've... That was uh, exactly it. Put on your Pale Mask. Read. Bust out the Necromonomicons. Read your. Uh, oh, he code reads names too long. <laughs> well, oh, he's got too many. He's got too many icons. If I did this, oh, uh, it's not gonna do anything on that though. No. Well, it, it depends on someone's browser. See, it looked. It worked on there. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. But it didn't work on the display. Is the thing I'm saying. Oh, on the on. Yeah. Yes, that's where it matters. It's because yeah. of the 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 hype train. I thing. can't actually. Tell someone to cathedral. That's what I thought. Yeah. Um. Okay, so that's it for tonight. We'll be back Wednesday. Yep, goodbye. Later.